welcome to a live broadcast. I wanted to touch base with everyone who follows me and the Heavy Duty Parts Report on a few things that are going on in the industry and give you a couple updates. So thank you so much for tuning in. This live broadcast is sponsored by the Heavy Duty Parts Report. You can follow for free by going over to heavydutypartsreport.com. We've got a lot to cover today. There's a lot of things happening right now in the industry that I think are noteworthy and we'd like to discuss them. Right now, there seems to be some optimism for the trucking industry, but what about the heavy duty parts industry? What's been going on? Well, we're going to get to that. We're also going to feature a new heavy duty product that has come out this week. And we're going to give you some updates on what's going on in the world of Jamie Irvin and the heavy duty parts report. So lots to talk about today. As always, we would love to have your comments and your feedback. So if you want to participate in this live broadcast, just hit that comment button and we can talk. Okay, so first thing I wanted to start off with is a new article that came out talking about the American Trucking Association's uh, Chris Spear and how he's optimistic about the trucking industry. It's a bit of a clickbait kind of um, uh, heading, though, because when you actually look at what he says, you know, they're him and, and um, Transport Topics uh, chief economist Bob Costello are putting it at about a 50-50 probability that the U.S. is headed towards a recession in Q1 of 2023. Uh, I wanted to quote Chris Spears, though. He says that we're starting to see a lot of the impact of the federal reserve decision to raise interest rates and the impact it is really having. And he talks about 40 year high inflation talks about uh, this inflation rate nearing 10%. We haven't seen that since the early eighties and of course, record high uh, fuel costs. This is all having a big impact on the trucking industry. I think a lot of people going into, let's say the end of June, going into July, they were fully expecting the uh, federal reserve and, to announce that we were in an actual recession. They were expecting that uh, things were going to get really bad. And it kind of, you know, things are tough right now, but it just kind of didn't materialize. And so one of the things that we've noticed on the heavy duty parts uh, industry is a lot of companies, they were kind of almost like holding their breath, right? What, what's going to happen? Um, and as Q2 came to an end and we moved into Q3, we have seen a marked move uh, in in attitude. The, just the the leadership groups at heavy duty parts companies are recognizing that they need to keep going no matter what. Uh, yes, things are are more dynamic now than they've ever been before, uh, at least in in most of our working careers. But that doesn't mean that you know the work has to stop. It, it means it's actually quite the opposite. We got to persevere and keep going. So what we've seen from our consulting business, what we've seen in the heavy duty parts report, as we we talk to heavy duty parts manufacturers and distributors, we see that they are just continuing to move forward. And now they're starting to look to the fall and saying, okay, we got trade show seasons coming up. We have some initiatives that we've had put on hold and we need to go ahead with those no matter what. The trucking industry has always been the canary in the coal mine, if you will. What happens in the trucking industry usually is a precursor to what happens in the economy at large. And so, you know, right now it just seems like we are, we are managing the significant challenges that um, society is facing at large and the economy at large. You know, one of the things I find interesting is also the, the legal challenges that are going on. There's a real wrestling right now with the trucking industry and legislators in the United States. We think of assembly bill five or AB five. It's also being dubbed um, the, uh, oh, sh oh <laughs> I can't think of the name right now. The uh, the remote workers, right? Uh, that's what they're really targeting at it, and uh, the gig economy law. That's what the that's what they're dubbing AB five. And basically, this law, though, you know, although it's targeted at a lot of industries, it significantly impacts the trucking industry because it, it goes right after the owner operator model. So, if you're a trucking company in California and uh, you're hiring owner operators, the the advice that we have is get some legal counsel because this law is is rather vague and is meant to be litigated. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, I don't know if everyone knows, but I'm also the co-host, not just the host of the Heavy Duty Parts Report, I'm the co-host on a new radio show 
on TNC Radio Live called Mind Your Trucking Business. We've talked about AB5 quite a bit, and we record those radio shows and make them available as podcast episodes after. So if you want to go back and check those out and, and really learn in depth about, about the impact AB5 is having on the trucking industry, uh, you can go over to tncradio.live click the podcast button, go to mind your trucking business and you'll see all the episodes there, or you can just search it on wherever you get your podcasts. Now I, I, I want to kind of focus on the heavy duty parts uh, industry for a moment because we have seen companies continuing to innovate and launch new products. Uh, in fact, this week, if you go over to heavy duty parts report.com, you know, you can always visit uh, or you can follow the the podcast and, and the show that we put out for free by going to heavydutypartsreport.com or wherever you get your podcast. But you can also go to the website and click the read button and see all of our blog articles. And there was a press release this week about a new product from our friends over at Alcoa Wheels. And uh, they <laughs> it's really cool. They, they've taken their rim and they, you know, it's the same, same quality, same performance but they've given this new option specifically for freight liners. So I, I love those long nose, you know, freight liners. Um, but uh, the freight liner product is called menacing matte black. And uh, it is this new product specifically for that line of trucks. And it is the aluminum wheel, but completely matte black. So if you want to be able to add some personality to your freight liner, uh, and sorry, I was thinking when I said long nose, I was thinking those long nose peats, but then I actually look at this. No, it's, it's freight liner. That's the one thing about live. You can't edit this stuff. <laughs> so that was my mistake. So, so this isn't for the long nose, uh, peats. This is for the freight liner trucks. It's called menacing matte black. You know, it's that forged aluminum wheel that Alcoa wheels is known for same quality, same performance, but available for freight liner owners who want that striking matte black option. I kind of have a feeling that this product will probably roll out to other makes as well in the future, but that's a good example of what's going on in the heavy duty parts industry, right? You know, for a while, some of the projects definitely were being put on hold. There were supply chain issues. There was just real challenges with getting products to the marketplace and to the people who needed them. And those challenges still exist and we're still struggling through that, but we've seen some improvement and we've seen how uh, companies like Alcoa Wheels have said, you know, we we can't stop just because of these, these global macro issues. We've got to persevere. We've got to innovate. We've got to keep going with our plans of whatever they are, launching new initiatives or launching new products. And so we're really excited because some of our clients, I work as a consultant and I work with heavy duty parts, manufacturers, distributors. We work with service companies as well. And one of the things that I've seen is I've seen a real uptick in um, companies who are saying, look, we've got to move forward with certain projects and we're going to do that and, and we're going to be resilient. So that gives me a lot of hope. It makes me feel very proud to be part of the trucking industry and specifically work in the heavy duty part side of the business. I love it. And I'm just so proud of my clients and the work that they're doing because they're really, really showing the true nature and spirit of the trucking industry. Okay. So I wanted to kind of finish off my my live today with just um, a little update on what's happening with us and our company. So the heavy duty parts report is where the business started. Um, as as I mentioned, we now work as consultants. We we work with our clients to help them with their uh, sales and their marketing and their digital sales channel, getting their e-commerce platforms set up. And then we also work on the business development side with our clients to help them with new initiatives and and bringing things to market. And it's been exciting to do that. And, and internally, our company is, is innovating that entire service that we offer. And so we've got some really, really awesome stuff to, to bring forward in the next couple weeks. Um, we've de we're developing a whole new learning management system to go along with our consulting work. Uh, this is going to provide our clients not only with the work that we do with them, with their teams, where we meet with them every single week, it also gives them this LMS to be able to go and go to specific 
trainings and have 24 seven on demand access to that information. So there's a, there's a lot of intellectual property that me and my team have developed over time that we're, we're housing in this learning management system to go along with our consulting service. But in addition to that, I'm so excited to share with you about some of the licensing deals I've done where I've gone out and gotten some of the best of the best in particular subjects. And we're getting that information and that intellectual property from those experts, those subject matter experts, and we're licensing it and putting it inside of our program. So when you work with us, let's say you want to master digital tools for sales pros. That's, that's a, a program that we have available right now. It's live. You're not only getting training and, and getting consulting from me and my team with decades of experience. We also have subject matter and a subject matter expert that has licensed his content to us that is going to take your LinkedIn strategy to the stratosphere. So if you're in sales and you want to be able to uh, really transform your results and fully leverage digital tools in a way that you've never been able to do before, we've got the program for you. Just head over to heavydutypartsreport.com slash consulting, and uh, you can book a discovery call with us where we're going to sit down, go through exactly what your situation is and show you what we've got and see if there's an opportunity for us to do business. We don't do business with just anybody. We're looking for specific kinds of companies and specific kinds of people that are very motivated to get very specific results. And if it's a good match, then we can't wait to get started working with you. It's going to be awesome. So that's what's been going on uh, in, in my world. Today is Friday. I'm, I'm dressed down a little casual, got my Johnny Cash t-shirt on. Looking forward to the weekend. My wife and I are uh, new paddle boarders, so I've been falling in the lake and learning how to do that. But it's been a lot of fun this summer and things have been going really good. You know, the trucking industry is such an amazing group of people. Uh, the heavy duty parts industry is, is just an extension of that. And I'm just so happy to be part of it and to let you know what's going on so some things are happening things good things are happening in the industry when we've had a lot of bad news for a long time uh, we're going to be starting to do more of these lives a little more regularly and we've also got some adjustments to the heavy duty parts report format coming out in september that i think you're going to really enjoy so thanks so much for watching this video and look forward to talking to you very soon take care Bye bye